Hello everyone, I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I'm here with Mr. Sanjay Bhalekar and Kazuhiro from Hitachi HRL. Mr. Kazuhiro is the Managing Director of Hitachi HRL and Mr. Sanjay Bhalekar, Associate Vice President of Sales and Marketing Department, Solar. Hello gentlemen. Hello. Hello. So first of all, I would like to begin with a brief introduction about Hitachi HRL and its product offerings for the Indian solar market. Uh, Hitachi is uh came later actually, but in 2011 we started a uh, uh, Indian business. We acquired a certain company, uh, uh, high level uh, power electronics. And this is a most important decision for us. The, now we are, uh, Hitachi is thinking the power electronics center is in, in India because market is very, very strong and the government supported also. Hitachi uh, started a, a solar business 2012 now uh, this is a very very big part of the Hitachi high level. Now we are supplying uh, up to now the about the 2 gigawatt in the market. The Hitachi uh, now thinking is a very important of the uh, power electronic business in a worldwide basis. Uh, we have uh, uh, two works in, in uh, India. Uh, one is Sanand works, one and another one is uh, Ganjinagar works. Now it's uh, expanding every year uh, more than 10 percent uh, grow uh, in this business. Can you also share some figures as to how much inverters have you supplied to India till now? Uh, so far uh, our number is 2 gigawatt means uh, uh, 1,500 uh, uh, pieces already installed in the uh, market. And what are you expecting for the coming year? Uh, coming this year uh, we expect in, uh, more than 1,000 unit. Uh, our, our main product is 1.2 uh, 5 megawatt systems. That's great. Uh, can you also share any 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 recent noteworthy case study which you must have installed where you where your investors must have been used and how has the performance been at that particular project? Yeah, our performance is pretty good. Okay. The, uh, as you know, the um, market requires upgrade is more than 99 percent. This is a, uh, the minimum requirement. Our performance is more than that. Of course, uh, efficiency is is uh, more than average over the market. It's ninety uh, nine point nine point eight percent percentage. So it's comparable uh, to the other uh, competitors. And the uh, our uh, you know uh, consumption of the uh, auxiliary system is very low. So now it's working very good and upgrade and performance. And our also uh, maintenance work is very nice. Uh, the customer also uh, satisfied with our right. system. I think on the case study part, I think Sanjay sir would be better able to present a case study in front of us. Yeah, this case study basically it's worth sharing the case study for our uh, one mega structure Adani project, which is India's largest project. What Adani Kamoti, where Itachi is proud to be a partner in that project. We have, this is the single largest project, one location we have so installed 360 megawatt inverters and second but the worth sharing the case study is NTPC Anandpur project where we have uh, 150 megawatt in one single location and after that all other NTPC projects, Itachi is a maximum supplier, it is more than 90% NTPC project is powered by Itachi inverters. These are two uh, major case studies, what the, like a milestone. You can see our sites, these are all milestone sites. So that's the reason from this, like Imai San said, from 1 gigawatt to 2 gigawatt, now we reach. So our next planning is... Uh, something on the technology front, I mean, what sort of technology are you using in your, in your inverters and how much of your uh, annual sales spending or your, what's your R&D budget, I should say? The R&D aspect, uh, we are uh, concentrated on, uh, you know, uh, central inverters. Uh, we have several uh, MPPT uh, characteristics in, in inside. The plus, uh, new thing is, uh, used to be, uh, you know, Japan technology bring it here in, in India. Now it's the center of the market is now, we is thinking it's uh, India. Very important process. So our uh, R&D team is developing here and uh, based on the international the standards and codes. And then now we bring it to the, the all over the world. So that's why we are uh, R&D strategy right now. And 
uh, sir, I would also like to have your comments on the on the on the you know technological innovations happening in the industry. How do you view the the emergence of micro inverters or fifteen hundred volt technology? What is the upcoming technology roadmap for inverter technology in the in the solar uh, energy industry? Uh, so far, we are based on the south under voltage uh, PCS, but uh, we are working on uh, the fifteen hundred voltage. Yeah, of course, uh, my experience is in the EPC basis, uh, the 1500 is much more advantage. You know, the cabling, the many things in the high voltage, it reduces the uh, copper cost and such kind of the, you know, uh, installation cost. So we, we are, well, one day we're tipping to the, the 1500 voltage. But uh, uh, the huge uh, EPC is okay. But uh, some small customer are also supplying to the 100 voltage. They are familiar with this voltage. So we will supply the both. Keeping uh, support to the old uh, customer they want. Just one last question to Mr. Sanjay uh, from the Indian perspective, sir. How do you view the uh, policy environment in the in the Indian solar industry, and uh, keeping considering the hundred gigawatt ambitious target by set up by the government? How do you see that? Yeah, this is very important questions. Like what everybody you can see in Aria, these people, this whole industry is in a confused stage now. People are not able to figure out that uh, where we will reach by this financial year ending. What are the targets being set by government? Yes, it is. We uh, we are all hopeful. We expect that this is something a very temporary setback for industry because of growing market uh, or in increasing my module prices or the PPA is coming down. Then there is a GST implications. So all these factors are pulling uh, market down and it is the speed is uh, reduced now. The growth uh, speed is reduced. But we expect that this should be uh, overcome by the next year. And by the time all the market will be ready with the new technology and with uh, maybe that anti-dumping duty is one of the factor that will drive the market again to different direction. We are not very sure. But yes, but over, by, by and large, India has got huge potential. Market is already the like many Jap uh, Jap Japanese companies are also entering this. So we will be uh, we are looking forward. It's a positive sign. All right, gentlemen. Thank you for your time, Dr. Kazuhiro, Mr. Sanjay Bhaleka. Thank you for your time and this opportunity. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.